uh, hello everyone in this video i am going to show how to insert a pie chart in an excel file with the help of uh, python so i'm going to show reference how should it be okay so i'm going to create like this okay first uh, if you want to modify anything or you want to anything to anything write in an excel file you have to install this module in your pc so for that go to command prompt okay cmd then type this command pip install that module name okay so it says requirement already satisfied which means i already installed that that's why okay so coming to the program first this line is used to create the excel file with the name of chart uh, bar uh, underscore pi okay and this is the format of the excel file you can give csv file also and also you can create csv file also okay then uh, once i created the excel file i am going to create one worksheet for doing this operation okay for that uh, we are using this workbook dot add worksheet so it will create one worksheet inside the excel file so uh, here i'm here what i'm doing is actually i'm going to create a bold format for headings that's why i gave bold here so if you want to give any other format means you can give the format name here example italics or any other format you can give give the name here okay so i'm going to get the heading as give the heading as category and values so like this so category and value okay so i'm going to give data apple cherry pecan and 603010 like this okay so apple cherry pecan 630 okay so what i'm going to give is worksheet dot write row so what it will do uh, in a1 cell uh, it will uh, write headings what are the headings category and value in a bold format okay so check so in a1 cell sorry in a1 row so it written category and value in a bold format okay so for other data i didn't use uh, bold format if you want means you can add that bold format to every text okay so it's not mandatory okay uh, now i'm going what i'm going to do is um, worksheet dot write column so i'm going to fill column okay with the with this apple cherry pecan in a2 columns check in a2 column i wrote apple cherry and the pecan and in cell b2 so i think this is b2 yeah it's b2 and i'm going to write 60 30 and 10 okay so what i'm going to do is chart is equal to work uh, workbook dot add chart what this line will do is uh, if you want to add uh, any different type of chart like uh, pie chart bar graph anything you can you have to give the name here okay so i'm going to use pie chart that's why i gave pi here if you want to uh, insert any other chart means you have to give the name here okay so uh, this line is especially used to plot the data for our graph so you have to give the indexes for everything so i will tell how it happened okay first check uh, the sheet name so it's a sheet one right so sheet one then um, first row first column correct so for category uh, the first row will be one right and first column is all uh, first column is zero so one zero and next one is last row last column so here last row is three and last column is zero right so three zero so likewise uh, you have to give for a value also so without this line uh, the python can't create a graph for uh, your excel file so this line is very important okay uh, next what i'm going to give is i'm going to give title for our uh, pie chart so for that i'm using this chart one dot set title name popular pie types okay so next i'm going to mm, give the different styles for our chart so if you are changing this number means the different types of color are changed in that chart okay you can try that okay next what i am going to do is i am going to create a chart in c2 cell okay so uh, this is c2 right 
so here i am going to create a chart with the help of our data okay so you have to give the cell name and chart one means that this is data that indexes okay you have to give the data here then the size the x offset and y offset is the size for our chart so if you are changing this data your size may be varied okay so next what i am going to do after performing all this operation i am going to close that worksheet so for that i am using this workbook dot close okay that's all now i am going to run this program see no error right so check the folder the file will be created now i am going to run that program see the chart created here as i shown in the image right see okay so if you have any doubt means please let me know in a comment section okay surely i will clear the doubt and thanks for watching